Guys, so I want to show you something pretty cool today. It's the content engine that I use for my own content. As I mentioned before, in my case, it always starts with a video or in most cases starts with a video. So I make a certain video for my YouTube channel and post it there. And then I process that in Descript or I record it in the very beginning in the Descript itself. So I ran a webinar yesterday. It was a webinar about AI agent adoption across the world. By the way, very interesting webinar. The recording is available on YouTube, obviously. And so now we have this YouTube video over there available. And we also have this folder for webinar content project with the transcript inside. And the transcript is just, again, the transcript of the video itself. Now on the left, you can see this is my Slack and this is a special channel, a bot within my Slack that I'm going to be using to show you exactly how to create. And so with this agent, I'm going to show you how to take this transcript and first of all, turn it into a number of different posts for different social media. And then take those posts and actually schedule them to be posted on my social media. So it gives you like the whole pipeline. You come up with your original and interesting thoughts. Hopefully, then you record a video, then you take this video transcript and the rest of the visibility is done for you by an agent based on your tone of voice and based on your brand style. That's the key part over here. When we're going to be generating this content, we're going to be using a ton of voices that we have defined and control around my personal brand content and articles. We also have specific visual styles defined that are brand consistent and that we're using for different publications to have a proper consistent look. Let's give it a try. I'm starting with the content command. And yes, we can make it into like a conversational agent. We just chose that it's more convenient sometimes with commands. And it asks me to choose the folder or the project that we're going to be working upon. That's basically the name of the folder that I just created with the transcript. So we have the agreement that the transcript MD is called in a standard way. So this thing is picked up by name from this folder automatically. And basically now it started the processing. And we'll need to wait a little bit before we start seeing documents appearing over here in this folder. We're going to have a generated content folder and within that all sorts of artifacts for different social media. So let's wait and see. And yes, as you can see, it created a whole bunch of these files and I just ordered them by name so we can see which system they belong to and kind of group together. So for LinkedIn, for example, it created three different posts. And let's take a look if those posts actually make sense. 75% okay. of in-house agent projects failed. That's the real data. I know that I was talking about that. And it has nothing to do with the quality of engine. I have in this first hand. In most cases, it does and it does out of the box. Sometimes I need to edit it before the publication and update it. It's not that really hard with AI special. And remember that this thing is using my tone of voice that I defined for myself for each of the platforms. So I have a LinkedIn tone of voice and I have Twitter tone of voice and the rest of this stuff. Then we have a few Twitter threads that have been prepared, Twitter storms as they call it tweet storms and then nope, that's not the the newsletter text that's for our ability AI newsletter updates interestingly it created a bunch of these pdfs for linkedin really there is a pdf version of the carousel and there is an image version of the carousel because different platforms accept different formats so you can find the same carousel for example where is that here but in images as you can see again we are using our own visual styles over here that we have defined in our prompts and agents are using that and creating this kind of formatted content again we keep it simple it can be kept significantly more interesting but more complicated we don't think that more complicated is necessarily better and yeah it created a light version and a dark version for me in the two styles that we have and looking through the content, that's 
basically exactly what I was talking about in the presentation that I had yesterday in the webinar. So it's a good job bringing the insights from there. Right. So a whole bunch of different posts have been created for different platforms with the tone of voice me at this platform and the style of delivery if visual contexts are appearing there in any other way. Now, we created this generated content with a whole bunch of different stuff in it. And we can now schedule it to be pushed towards my social media. For that, I'm just calling the schedule command. It's asking me what needs to be scheduled. I select that. And now it is working. So it will ask me for additional input when it's going to be ready. But for the first part of that, it needs to analyze the content that we have there. Okay, so as we can see, it came back to us with a response or actually further requests. So it took the posts from LinkedIn, from the generated content, the three of them, and it now is asking for the approval. And I click respond. And I see this web page that shows that, okay, post one, post two, post three, and the response over here, I mean, obviously it looks ugly. We're gonna make it look a little better, but it achieves the point for which it was created, which is to give me an overview of the posts and the timing schedule. And then it needs, it asks me to confirm that yes, I approve, specify post numbers and specify new time if available or just no and cancel. Let's see. Okay, let's do post one. Approve post one and ignore others. All right, we submitted the response and the process has started. And now we basically do the same procedure for Twitter. We also have the three threads and it's going to post them as threads. We saw them before. So I'm going to say I approve all three. Obviously for demo purposes, usually you spend a lot of more time on approval of those things. But anyway, it will now proceed to further platforms and publication over there. Okay, so here's the next batch. In this case, these are carousels. And there are different versions of carousels. As we know, there are two of them for the case. So I'm going to respond to that. And basically instruct it where we want to do that. Instruct it in what platform and in what style. Let's do LinkedIn. So as you can see, what I'm responding is I want to send the number one to LinkedIn and both of them to Instagram, for example. So I submit the answer. So as you can see, this is the scheduling system and posting system called Blood Data. Blood. Within that, we see all sorts of posts that have been scheduled through the system. And we can actually look at them and you can see that there are carousels scheduled to go on LinkedIn and the same carousels in the same style scheduled to go to Instagram as posts. Once they're posted, you will see them again, my accounts in different systems, in LinkedIn, etc. And all of them are consistent. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you're interested in that kind of content, subscribe and like this video, please. I'm gonna keep posting those quite regularly.